Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to create headers and footers in Gutenberg and Rehab theme. So first you need to open reusable templates and then click on all reusable blocks. After that you need to click on add new. So here we can add a header. It's important to click on header from section type. So since we'll first create a header, we need to select header, this one. Then we click on publish. Now we need to add a structure of our header and we are going to use row, the blue icon. So we have two columns here and we will choose full width. On the right side, we can also choose the structure of our block. So let's choose, for example, uh, this one. And here we'll add a site logo. So first we'll increase a little bit its size. And then we will need to add a menu on the right side. So here we search for a block which is called menu. And the block that we have just created will pull up your menu that you added in appearance and then menus. In the previous video, I showed you how to create different types of menus, including mega menu and some other types. So we are going back to the header and the first thing that we need to do is to fix the display on mobile devices. So we click on preview and then mobile. And as you can see, the menu doesn't work by default. That's why here we'll enable show as toggle on mobile. Also, we need to enable align text right. And now if you go to mobile, as you can see, everything looks great. Then we are going back to desktop and we click on update in order to save the changes. Then we need to add already created menu to our website. And in order to do so, we need to go to our website first. Then we need to click on customize. And then we go to theme options. We will choose header and menu. And here in header style, we can choose both from already set headers and a new custom header. So after we choose it, we just need to click on publish and all the changes will be applied. So this was a simple example of header and most probably you're not going to use it because it's much easier to use a preset header template that you can find here. So let's look at more complex and practical header that you may need. We are going back to the templates and we click on add new. We are going to use row again, the blue icon, but this time we're going to create three columns. Then we choose full width and in the middle column we'll add a logo. We'll increase its size a little bit and then we'll choose a line center. On the left side, we'll add a menu. And on the right side, we'll add our new elements. In the theme, there are many different elements that you can use for the header. And as you can see, there is a great variety of different elements. But here I will show you just some of them that I think uh, you're going to use more often.
So first we are going to add a login icon. Then we'll add a wish list, which is called wish list page icon. Please note that for the wish list we will need a link of our page. And here in Rehab, uh, in Support and Tips, you can find a detailed instructions of how to create it. So let's move on. I will just add a step. And the third icon that we are going to add is a card button. So as you can see, all three icons are located like this. And to make it look better, we need to click on Enable Flexible Box Content. Then we need to select a direction. And you can also set a margin for child items. However, in our case, it would be better if we add a margin on the left side, like this. Now, from the options of the section, we will need to choose a column position in row in the center. So we can do this on the right side, from here, like this. So here, as you can see, we have three elements, but they don't look so good. So in our header, we will need to change the menu. We are going to move this one to unique pages like this. And here is the header that we get. We can also add here on the right side, a spacing. So we'll add 15 on the top and 15 on the bottom. And also let's add a background as well like this. For example, let's choose this color. And don't forget to mark your template as a header. And then we need to click on update in order to save the changes. Then we go back to our website. We click on customize and we just need to choose from the theme options, the template that we have just created. So we choose new header layout and we click on publish. As we can see, everything works great, but there is an issue here. So since we have a lot of elements, it doesn't look very good on mobile devices. And that is why we will need to add a header for mobile devices. So we are going back to our header. We need to add one more row. This one, the blue icon. We choose two columns. Then we choose full width as earlier. And now the row on the top is going to be for a desktop and the bottom one for mobile devices. Now we just need to add the elements. Actually, we can add absolutely the same elements. So let's just copy them. We'll copy these three icons as well. So we just click on duplicate and then move them to our block. We are going to add a special element which is called mobile menu with icon, this one. And now we'll apply the same procedure as previous. So first we'll enable flexible box content, then we choose a direction and we'll add a margin on the left here. 
Then we will choose a column position in a row. And finally, we will click on update in order to save the changes. Now we have two header blocks. The block on the top we are going to use only for a desktop. So we go to advanced options and then in responsive we will need to disable everything apart from hide on desktop. The block on the bottom we are going to use only for mobile devices and that is why we need to enable hide on desktop. Apart from this, we also need to change the display order because our columns are located one below the other by default. So we choose this one from structure and we get a different order. The logo now is too wide so it would be better to change it to something more compact. So we will first delete it and then we will add a block image. So for example, let's choose this one. You can also navigate the width and the height of the image. Additionally, each option can be set separately for each resolution. So for example, if you want an option to work globally for all resolutions, then you need to click on desktop. If you want an option to work separately for each resolution, then you need to click on the icon of this resolution and add a margin. When you create a header, you can use absolutely any blocks and not only these that are shown on this video. So let's now check how it works. And as you can see, all the options are applied both for a desktop and mobile device. And everything looks great. Additionally, we can also add a sticky header. And in order to do this, we go to theme options. Then we click on header and menu. And we choose an option sticky menu bar. Then we save the changes. And this is the effect that we get if we scroll down. If you want, you can also add a shadow to visually distinguish your header from the content. So we go to shadow and we can choose from the options here. Then we click on update. And now let's check how it works. So as you can see, now we have a header that is distinguished from the other content. Of course, if you want, you can add different background, gradient, and so on. Each element has its own settings as well that you can also change. So for example, you can change the color like this. If you add a text, you can also change the color of it here in typography on the right side. You can change both the text and the link's color, like this. Creating a custom footer is not that different from creating a header. So we need to add a new template. Then we choose row, the blue icon, and we'll set full width. We add a spacing as well. 
like this. And also we can add a background color. So for example, let's choose this one. Most probably you're going to use the blocks from the list. So we can choose list. Its color is dark by default. And if you use the dark background as well, you will need to change the color in typography section, both for the text and links. Now you can add your links here, like this. You can also use an advanced list. This module is more advanced because it has also an option to add icons. After you have created your template, you need to enable section type footer and then you need to click on publish. Now we need to click on customize here and then we will need to choose our footer from theme options so here is our template and this is how it looks like you can also disable it and use a template by default And you can add it in Appearance and then Widgets. And as you can see, there are three sections here for the footer, as well as a bottom custom footer area. So that's all for today. God bless you and your sites and see you in the next video.